Hi, I'm Marian Emerson and I have FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out. And I really had it with this product. I kept saying to myself, no, I don't need it. Um, I, I can craft without it. And then I kept seeing so many people using it and I'm like, oh, do you know what? It's, it's pretty good actually, or is it? Um, for two reasons. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the stamp wheel, the Altenew stamp wheel. I have to say, I, well, like I say to you, did I need it? No, not really. Did I want it? Yes, because I've got FOMO. <sighs> Am I going to use it? I blimmin' hope so, because it cost a lot of money. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it wasn't cheap. <laughs> So I am going to make a concerted effort to use it. I'm going to do um, a video in a minute with it um, for the first time. So, yeah, if you're like me and you've got FOMO, try and be strong. Try, just try. <laughs> I haven't given in to that little glue gum thing yet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need that. <laughs> um so anyway, yeah, I got it. I got it on sale at scrapbook.com and yeah, let's let's dive in and just see what it's all about. Okay, so let's just oh I said that really loud, didn't I? So sorry. Um <laughs> let's just open this up on this side. What makes me laugh about this is you've probably already got one. <laughs> I'm really late to the party as usual. I like the box. I do love the box. I do love packaging. I'm a bit of a freak for packaging. Um, and I did see someone on YouTube or Instagram. I can't remember now. They done something with this, which I thought was quite ingenious, but I can't remember what they done. <laughs> so because they kept a grid system on there. Now, so I haven't even read anything, so I don't even, I think that bit, I'm assuming, look, I haven't even read the instructions, seriously. Right, that's the, the flat bit. Give me a second. Da, 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 da. Place it inside the stamp wheel, base free. Grave side down, flat side up, yeah. Okay, so, they, peeled this off and they peeled this off and this I thought was ingenious so oh, me. let me just take your time Marion so when you peel something off peel it flattish oh dear Okay, that's my workout for the morning. Let's just take all this out and then I can get rid of the box for now. Right. Okay, it's not as big as I thought it was. I thought it was much bigger than this. And I think this has got a protective layer on it as well somewhere, front or back, I'm not sure. I will check that out. So this is the bit I'm gonna stamp on, stick on on that. So I'm just turning that up so I've got the, the ripply bits on top because this lady and i do apologize i will try and find out who it was but i just started looking at different people saying things about the stamp wheel and i just thought that was very clever so they took a bit off there and a bit off here and then i think I don't know if they took it off all four sides and just left that little bit in the middle. Because if you do that, that's the same, isn't it? No, they did take it off all four sides. Right, this is my trouble. I watch things and then I forget what they've done. So that, and then that. And then this is where her brain, to me, was fantastic because she took one of these bits 
and probably actually I wonder if I'm meant to take that so if I take this and just stick that on there like so and then but I've screwed that bit up now it's not good and then lined this up give or take it would help if that was and then I think and now take that off and then I think and now when you peel this up honestly I'm probably out of alignment now Oh, I am. Look, it's all wonky. Right, let me do that again. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to put it on that just for now. Right, I'll do this again. Hang on. Okay, I'm not happy with me, me crease in there, but... And I don't think I've got it completely central, which sort of takes away from the... Do you know what? I'll probably come back to this. I, I need to redo this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm rubbish when it comes to things like this. Because this needs to be central. So I can actually see. I'm probably better off doing it just with me, me naked eye. Yeah, I think that's better. Right, so let's just put that there. <sighs> Make sure there's nothing in there. And then this should fit snuggish. Push it down. And then you've got a grid. All that work, honestly. I could have just drawn <laughs> some lines. So let me move that out of the way. Okay, so there is, because I can feel it. And this obviously is just to protect it from getting scratched in transit, etc. So, okay, so this obviously fits in here. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so I've got my grid, lovely. I've got that, so you can stamp down. Obviously, I'm going to have to work out how you use all these little lines. It's all probably a bit technical. And then you can just do this. And then I'm assuming you just stamp down like so. Right, so the idea is you can flick your wheel over. I am in a fortunate position. I have got Julie Hickey's new bits. <laughs> Come back off holiday. So we've got the Sweet Daisy stamp set, which some of you might already have. But she's bought a die, a matching die set out for it, which is fabulous. And look at the colour of those dies. Um, not that I'm partial to teal or anything. She's also got the Daisy's A6 stamp set, which this, I'm thinking, would make a lovely little wreath. Or even if you just go half, not sure. Um, so that's going to be nice. And, that's, and then she's got a lovely stencil, which is two sides, so you can choose. And this is what... But this, apart from stamping around, this is what I was liking about this because this is going to hold it in place while I then do my colouring. Look, that holds it really nice. So let's put a piece of card. Let me grab a bit of my wow card here. Okay. Da -da -da. And I'm probably going to set... Oh, no, because if I do it in the centre... Because don't forget, English card is slightly smaller. Then again, this is a rectangle. So these, if I done it in a round, it would work better on a square. I still don't feel that I'm completely um, thingy bob. If I just put that, is that going to hold that there? Or while I just... Okay, look, that holds it on nicely. Although I love that one as well. Hmm. 
Oh, decisions, decisions. This is probably going to be my worst video ever because I just can't decide. So if I go about there, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's go something like that. I'm just going to use, she says, if she can find some. I've got some new mint tape. So while I was out in the States, I was just buying stuff and getting it sent to my friend Donna's house and then brought it all home with me, which was just so much easier. And weirdly, not necessarily cheaper, which was a bit weird on the shipping, because their shipping to the UK is so cheap. It really is. Um, and I think I paid the same sort of amount to get it shipped to the States or in the States, I should say than I do to send it to home. So they've obviously got a very good deal, scrapbook.com, with their shipping. So anyone in the UK thinking, oh, I'm scared to order from them, don't be. It's, uh, what have I got? I just picked up a few. So I've got lemon, limoncello, cotton candy, sparkling berry, rouge, and orange twist. Let's go for a bit. Let's have a bit of, oh, pull this one out. Let's do a bit of cotton candy. Da, 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 da. And then just do a little bit here and there. And then, should we have a little bit of sparkling berry? Let's go, oh look, I've got a bit of my gold on there from when I used it. Well, that's gonna be heavy, isn't it? I should have gone lighter with that. But that's okay. That's okay. It'll look fine. And I'm sure when I've seen Ardith use this stamp wheel, she just cleaned this off with a baby wipe. And I'm like, that suits me fine. And then let's have, I'm just going to change this one and have a bit of rouge. A rouge. Let's just bring a little bit of depth in there. And go like so, a bit more. I've probably obliterated all that, the cotton candy now, and I? Let's have a look. Oh, that does hold it down nicely, have to say. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is called Stencil Background Number 3. I will link everything. Um... Let's just peel that up. Oh, that's the first time that's ever done that. Interesting. Okay, let's just stick. Oh, one of um, I don't know whether it was Dot from New Zealand when I'm using bits of this because I reuse it over and over again. Um, and she said, just get a piece of acetate and just stick it on the acetate and you can just peel it off and keep reusing it, which I thought, yeah, fabulous. Thank you, Dot. Look, I've got a little bit here and here. I probably need, I'm not going to find it now, am I? No, nah, I'm not going to find it. Um, oh, do you know what? I was going to use a bit of the champagne gold or silver on there. Okay, this one I won't. I'll just leave as is. So let me just lift this off. Comes off nicely. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. And see what it's like. Okay, it stains a little bit because it's a pink. Pink's always stain. I don't know why, but pink inks always stain. They're a nightmare, but pretty. <laughs> okay, so let's just move that there. I've got a little... I probably need a microfiber cloth just to make sure there was no fibres on it. So now I just want a piece of a got. Mm. Let's have a look. Have you got any, what sort of size is it? Yeah, scrappy bits. That's too small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'll just grab another piece like so. Let's just put it, I'm just going to put it down here for now. And then let's just open this. 
And I just feel I just want to use this because I can. And I've got the die to match. So if I was to let me just take that off. I am gonna see if I just put it there for now. Because I've got another idea to be able to use this again. So I'm gonna put that there. Honestly, I had a lovely clear table to start with. Didn't last long. Oh. Okay, let's just stick that in there. Move that over a minute. And then lift. Okay, that's nice because that lifts up. But it didn't pull this up. So I'm loving how sticky this is but it's not ripping the card or anything i hope it stays like this i will actually read about it and find out how i can keep it nice and clean and nice and sticky okay so i can just flip the whole thing over i'm gonna go in hmm, let's have a look i have got some clear gloss regular and i'm oh do you know what hang on a minute Okay, I've grabbed Glisten from the Changes range. Um, Glisten is a clear embossing powder with a sparkle in it, but it's sort of got gold undertones in there. So I'm just gonna, there's quite a few different um, clears with sparkles in. So it's just about finding one that you really, really like. So I am gonna use the Catherine Paula pigment ink and this is going to be my test because I need to make sure I'm going to probably ink it up twice and then stamp it down in exactly the same place hopefully so let's just see right that's what I wanted to check if I do that I think is that touch oh it's touching a little bit okay I wasn't sure whether it touched it or not. So you still have to push down on it, which is good. That's sort of what I wanted it to do. Lift up. Oh. I will do it again, just to see if I get it in exactly the same place, but that has stamped out beautifully, I have to say. And because this is a pigment ink, it stays wet. And if you are familiar with Catherine's new metallics, they do stay wet and it depends on what sort of card. I done some on some black card stock and that's very porous black card stock and it dried quite quickly. Beautiful. <clears throat> so now I'm going to lift that, move that. Honestly, I've got this great big table here and I'm running out of room. Let me just, I'll just put it on there for the minute. Let's sprinkle some glisten. Okay, that looks lovely. If you see little white balls like that in your embossing powders or embossing glitters or your sparkles, don't worry about it. Just throw them back in the jar. They're meant to be in there. They're not going to do any damage to your finished design even if like they drop out on there they just burn off okay so let's just heat this oh i forgot about these how cool are they they were in the last video look at that isn't that just so pretty i never know what you pick up on camera but what i see it's just it's just gorgeous okay so now we're going to die cut this although it does look lovely just like that god so let me take me sweet daisy die set i do love matching dies with stamps never used to was never bothered about it and then i started doing it and i'm like do you know what it's so much nicer 
and I think Julie got a lot. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. Hang on a minute. It sounded like I was going to cry then. Um, I think Julie got a lot of requests from people saying, please, can you do the matching die to this stamp set? Now, if it comes off and it's really sticky like that, like my one is, you know my little trick with me Tolkien powder, Nanny Bimbo's pot? Just do the same on your dies. Wherever they're sticky, put some Tolkien powder on. Try not to swallow it because you'll cough again like me. And then that takes that. It's no longer sticky. Okay. So... Let's just die cut this. Oh, would, would help if I put the die the right way. I'm thinking, oh, Julie, you've done it wrong. <laughs> it was me. Oh, that's so pretty. And that glisten is just it's just gorgeous. It's it's so much sort of it's chunkier than your normal. Let's see if I can get it. You can see it. But it's got more of a texture to it as well. It's lovely. Right, so let me just oh I'm just doing this really, really simple as usual. Let's get that out of the way. That out of the way. And just place that on there. Like, right, so because I've done it in gold, I am going to bring a little bit of gold in to this. Now, do I want to line it up again in my stamp doodle? Might as well. If I just do that. And then, let me tell. I'm just going to clean this off a bit. That's what I love about it having a matching die because you can lift it off rather than it being flat. Now, oh, okay, so it's got, have a lovely day just for you, thankful for you, a special friend. Oh, and the die actually comes with, look, look it does that smaller one as well, which I could have another one coming off there. And it's got the tag as well, which you can put these words in that little tag and then have it hanging off. If I had time, which, well, do you know what? I could, couldn't I? Shall I just do that? Marion, just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so the other thing I was thinking as well, I've now got this. So one, I can use this as a stencil or two, I could do a little shaker card from behind and then stamp it. Um, stamp it inside so yeah I like using things like that so I'm just going to put that aside I am going to set this up just when you do it don't put it too close to the edge because obviously I'm going to die cut it so you don't want it too close but use your thing use your thing see look I forget already I'm just going to go like that I'll take my daisy stamp off, give it a nice clean. Needs a bit of a scrub. Ooh. Okay, so I am loving this so far, which I thought I would for this bit, this actual sticky doodah. So let me go in. So these line up on here. Honestly, I'm I'm waffling away to myself, but I'm probably I'm teaching what is it? Old dogs new tricks here, because you've probably all got it. <laughs> like I say, I'm late to the party. Um do I want to go gold again with it? 
or oh what do i want what do i want um you're probably all shouting at the screen now saying go for um oh do you know what i might go for the rouge just to bring out the depth of that color And although I thought this was going to be big, bigger, I'm actually really pleased with the size of it because although I have got two great big tables here, I'm like just squashed into this little area, which is ridiculous. Now, if I do that that way, that's going to read because that's going to hang down that way. That's nice. Right. Is that about right? Do you know what? I need to pick that up then. Let's just give it a go. Move this out of the way for now. Who else does that? Who has this great big area to work in and then boom, it's just like you've just got no room. Let's have a bit of sparkling berry. This is so beautiful, this colour. Absolutely love it. Now I know whether I'm wonky or not. Just as long as you make sure these things are in. So clever idea. Yep, that looks nice. Right, no laughing. These were sort of a cross between these sort of colours. Look how old these are. It's ridiculous. <laughs> They're so old, this crocodile. But I love it. I have used it so much. Good old We Are Memory Keepers. So we've just got a little, make a nice little hole. It's brilliant. It just goes through thick chipboard. It's fantastic. So if I just chop off a little bit of twine and then bring that through there. See, I've made this a little bit more involved now, this card, which isn't something I normally do. Okay, come here, you. I put a bit of, um, well, that's sod's law, isn't it? I could do it there, I suppose. I wonder if I should have stamped it the other way. <laughs> Here I go. This is where my poor little old brain just says, no, Marion, you don't do it like that. Right, so if I'd have thought about it, I wouldn't have put a piece of um, doodah there. Do you know what? I can fake it. Let me just fake it. Oh, oh gosh. Come here, you. Bow. Little snip. Another snip. And then I'm just going to stick that under there and then it has it. And then that reads better going up that way, doesn't it? Just blow all them bits off. So I think I'm just going to put... Hmm, I'm just going to put a little bit, not a lot, a little bit there and a little bit there. And then take them off, tuck that in a little bit and then have a lovely day. And then I just drop this on the floor, so hopefully it's all right. And then I can just stick that like that. So not my normal sort of card, but it's a really, well, I think it's a really pretty card. And, you know, if you're just sitting making loads of these, which you could, you think things like wedding invites, etc., and 
new birth cards and that you just have it set up um would i replace my misty with the stamp wheel no i wouldn't um only because i don't know why actually but i just i love the misty i really do one thing um and I, i've never um mastered this in the misty either is the moving things up and I'm thinking with this, it's not going to work. You have to keep taking bits off, don't you? But look, that's, do you know what? That's just, it's just pretty, isn't it? And the gold brings in there from there. So I like that. Okay, cool. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it for stamping. I'm loving it for stenciling. I'm going to have a go at the actual stamp wheel part of it now what it's really meant for so let me use look i tried this one out before it's lovely this is julie's daisies a6 stamp set one thing to mention and i don't know about all the us stamps the photopolymer ones but i know julie pays extra to have hers thicker you can get two different um depths of photopolymer stamp and i believe these are a 3.2 mill the other one is two point something um so that's why i think when i stamped the daisy down well i didn't stamp it down i just put it on and it actually did touch it in a few places because i've since had a look at um oh another well stamp wheel thing and it said the if you put the stamp down it won't touch it but but these did and i think that's because they're thicker but they're thicker, they're, they're really good quality. So I am gonna have a little look at this one because I really love this. I just had to stamp it out and see what it was like. So what have we got? I've got a bit of me, let's move this. So I'm loving it, as I just said, I'm loving it for this bit, for putting stencils on and all that. Um, and now I am gonna, what have I got on there? A little gremlin on there let's put this give or take in the center i still don't think i put this on right <laughs> and i'm just thinking oh do i need a square i probably need a square one don't i oh actually if i done da, 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 i'm gonna see what that looks like so i'm gonna come off here so it comes off a little bit and then I like to always start with the hole in the top. Don't ask me why, but then I think I just know exactly where I am. So let me go. What have I got? Mm. Well, I could stick with me, me colours I had here, couldn't I? Me sparkling berry and me rouge. Um, I've also got... Oh, got me. Oh, I've got eucalyptus as well. Oh, what about? Okay, let's let's see if we can do something Christmassy with this. So let me just put that down. A bit of rouge, and then start off with that there, and then stamp that down. Now, I want to turn it one. Ah, no. See, I don't want to do it like that. I want to turn it. Ah, don't want to do it like that. <laughs> okay, so that's not easy what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I've done that the wrong way then. Well, obviously I did. Um, okay, any stamp wheel experts out there can help me? I wonder if I if I done it like. Oh, well, actually, that just gives me another idea. Okay, so what I was going to do was go round in a half circle. But, oh, my poor brain, my poor brain. I need to place this in a different area. Maybe I should have started off from the centre. Hmm, okay. Is anyone else feeling my pain here? Anyone? Oh, let's hope that. Oh, look, see? See, look, it's just touched it. Oh, do you know what I might do then? <laughs> now, because I've done that, let's let's just do something else. 
while my head tries to work this out. I should have done this on a live. Sorry for sniffing then. Um, and then you could have all told me what I'm doing wrong. See, my, my brain just don't comprehend oh, things like this. And I'm quite a lateral thinker. It's really weird. And it comes to this sort of thing and I'm like, nope, can't do that. So if I do that there... And then, do you know what? This might turn out to be my best card ever. <laughs> I doubt it, but you know, hey-ho. Right, so let's just do that. And then should I do a little bit up there? Let's have a look. No, no, no. No. Mm. Okay, I'm going to clean. Clean this. I'm sure you can do it. I think I need to come out from there. But anyway, anyways, let me now stick this. This has probably still got patink on it. Let me put that there. I'm going to put me, oh, clean me ink off. I promised myself I'm going to really look after this because it wasn't cheap it's not a cheap thing although if my husband asks oh, it was a steal <laughs> just never tell him donna don't you tell him <laughs> so let's go a little bit eucalyptus okay where's that gonna go if i do that mm, no and then, oh, do you know what? I just feel like I need to do it myself now. So I'm just going to place that in. Stick my doodahs on. Eucalyptus. And then stamp that there. Let's have a bit coming off there I mean the nice I know I could just go in and use a block but the nice thing is if I do mess it up and don't stamp it properly with the block then at least I can go back in into the same position I should have thought about this and done a bit more red right do you know what I'm gonna do now then <gasps> because I can I am going to I'm gonna use a bit of sparkling berry so I've used eucalyptus, rouge, and now some sparkling berries. So if I put that about there, this is a beautiful leaf, Julie, I have to say. And then, oh, okay, you really didn't want to do that, Marion. That was, because uh, that's a brand new um, ink pad. So, do you know what? I'm going to clean that off. I know I could have put it down there, but... Right, this time, just gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Okay. Always get that in the same position. That can go there. That can now... Oh, I'm trying to do it so they don't touch, but they're going to, they're going to. Um, if I do it so it goes like so, and then get me a little doodah there, I still went heavy again, terror, I'm so heavy handed, do that really light, and then I'm going to put a little bit there. Just 
just a little bit. I just need something. Oh, then again, I can put a sentiment across there. Don't stress, Marion. Don't stress. Mm. I'm just having a little look, see what else I've got. And then if I do a little bit, ah, oh, do you know what? Hmm, shouldn't have done that because <laughs> it was overlapping on there. Now I'm not going to line that back up again. I might be able to get away with it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, don't try. Don't try. Honestly. I've just ruined it. But no, right. Okay. I've got an idea. I have got an idea. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Right. Let me just clean that a little bit. Okay. Clean this. And now I am going to... I'm just going to remove this just so I can disguise my little error there. She says, peeling it off. Let's just clean this off. Oh, it's stained. I wonder, I've got some of the Brutus Monroe um, spray stuff. I wonder if that will get it off. Or maybe a little bit of acetone. Ooh, don't know. Okay, let's just put that there a minute. Because I've got glass slipper sparkles. Sparkles are pure glitters. There's no embossing powder in them. So this one's glass slipper. There's, oh, there's crystal. That's a lovely clear one. So let me just, I don't know if I've got much left in here. I've got a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is just pick up Julie's design and then throw a little bit of sparkle on there. And that sort of disguises it. And I think what I'll do is if I just do it on all the pink ones rather than all of them. So this is me pretending I can draw now. I so can't draw. Not like Julie. Julie hand draws all of her stamps. And I've got to hand it to her. They are so beautiful. And you know what? It was only a few years ago she couldn't even draw. And she won't mind me telling you that. But she taught herself. And I'm so proud of her. I tried to teach myself, but I've got the patience. Well... I'd say of an ant, but I think an ant's got more patience than me. I just, I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Okay, so let me just, I do love me quickie glue pen because it picks up all those little bits as well. So you can do tiny little dots with it. Like so. And let's just pick that up there. Doesn't need a lot. And then I've got one more pink one here. And do you know what? This this could be Christmas. This could be anything. It really could. But it's just lovely. Honestly, I'm going outside the lines. If um if I was doing this with a pen, it wouldn't look anything like this shape. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So sparkles. So sparkles, you do not have to heat set. You can just set them aside. The glue will dry. That won't take long because there's hardly anything in there. Um, and usually that goes on blue and dries clear. But... There really wasn't a lot left in there. Do you know what? I like this. So I'm thinking if I if I looked at Catherine's 
See, to, even to you and yours, that's nice because it doesn't have to be um, Christmas. But if, if you put something like a very Merry Christmas, let's just, just stamp that down. Very Merry Christmas. See, I like that. Holid oh, holiday hugs is nice. Do I want to just stamp it straight on there? I have no dimension. I quite like one layer cards. Can I refill your eggnog? <laughs> I love Catherine Paula and her gang. <laughs> they, just, they crack me up. Look, bring on the bling. That's nice as well. Let's, let's do some holiday hugs. Let's do holiday hugs. So... I have used this one before. I'm going to do it in Versafine Onyx Black. Flip that over. And then Holiday Hugs. Oh, see, that's nice. See, when you make a mistake, guys, don't give up on it. Don't just throw it you know rip it and throw it away and think oh, i can't do it anymore because you can you can always well not always but most of the time you can do something you know to zip it up a bit what have i got here oh they're nice i've got some jackson catherine paula sequins does it need any does anything ever need sequins I don't know. Let's just throw a few in there and just have a little oh look see. Do I wanna actually I might just do it here and here. Let's have a little goldy one and there just to highlight the word. So then we've got that there. And then that there, what do you think? Yep, I like that. So let's go in, take this bit of me barely arts. Oh, I think I might need to clean me doodle because it's, it's not grasping it properly. Oh, you meant to shape. Oh, it had something on there actually. So maybe you need to Give them a little clean, I suppose, especially with sequins with the little holes in, you're actually picking up a bit of the adhesive if it comes through the hole. So maybe I had that on there, I don't know. That worked better that time. Stay down. Also, I'm very impatient. I like to just put it down and, and think, right, that's it, done. Doesn't always work like that. Oh, look, you can unscrew it. Oh, maybe you can get different ends for it. I can't even remember where I got it from. I don't know. Anyway, what I should have done <laughs> was oh, attach that to my card base. <laughs> I might put it on a coloured card. I think I'll put it on a coloured card. Um... Because I did bring back, and actually I've I've already gone ahead and done another video, but that's coming out after this one. Don't ask me why. Um, <laughs> but I've gone ahead and done another video, and then I show this cardstock that I've got out in America, um, the stamp market, and I've got loads of it. Just love, love, love. Um, so yeah, I'm going to find a cardstock. Let me just have a look. Hang on. This one's nice. Look, raspberry. I like that. That goes nice with that. Or I could do it on the green. I've got a few greens over there. No, do you know what? I like raspberry. So let me just actually I'll open it the way I normally open them. But I've got, I can't remember how many colours. I actually, I think it was these that I got because. Um, the stamp market done a thing on their Instagram and I've, I've got picked for answering one, like, you know, 
like comment in on all their doodars. And um, I won a $25 voucher, which I was well chuffed with. So I went ahead and spent something like $140. <laughs> so your cunning plan works, stamp market. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but, you know, hey-ho. I'm so glad I did because I've got all these lovely, lovely colours now. Right, so what I'm going to do is I might need to trim this down a little bit. But if I fold this this way, so fold it in half. And then look, I've got my old, look, my old Cricut or Cry Cut, however you like to pronounce it. Donna bought, um, well, Donna bought me, she did buy me or she gave me a beautiful bone folder, which I haven't unpacked yet. I haven't unpacked hardly any of my stuff from America, which is really naughty. But let me just see what size have I got here. I've got four inches. So if I go for... Let's have a look. Hang on. Right. If I go four and a quarter. And then I can take a little bit off. Top and bottom. And that's the same there. All right. So how much do I need to... I'm going to take, I'll probably take it from the bottom, I think. Let's have a look. I'm going to take a teary bit more off. I'd rather take two less and then just take a little bit more. nice i mean look this is what it would have looked like i do love white on white that's what it would have looked like white on what that's what it would have looked like yeah can't talk now so i'm liking it you know what i'm gonna end up wanting to get more of this cardstock from stamp market because the colors are just beautiful oh dear throwing things now okay i was very tempted with their inks as well because i'm like i just love my catherine polar ones let me just flip that Ta-da! Okay, right. Let me try and do what I set out to do. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay. Right. Think about it, Marion. Right, where's your wheel? There's your wheel. Okay, so if I was to put this on there. Right, if I had that. Like, so that's like that, yeah? So surely this must work. Get that central. Okay. So I'm going to go back to me rouge and then that goes there, that goes there. And if this don't work, I'm going to cry because it just means my brain ain't working. So now I'm going to try that. Mm, yeah, OK, that should. Mm, OK, let's just see. Let's just see. Like I just showed with that other card, if it goes wrong, I can do something else with it. Don't know what, but I can do something else. So what did I move around? I went one, two, three. So one, two, three. 
three. That should be the same distance. So let me do that. So did that end up, that ended up in there, didn't it? And then one, two, three. I'm sorry, but I have to think out loud. This this is working now, I think. <laughs> and then... Oh, where was I? There. And then I'll just do one more. I don't know whether it always comes out equal. So there was one, two, three... No, because there's a bit more of a gap there, isn't there? Okay. Um, right, let me just grab another baby wipe. And then, right, and let's just go in. And now, do the eucalyptus. So this time... See, I'm gonna, I've got a bigger gap there, and I'm not sure why that's happened. Now I can go there, or there. I'll do it there. I feel like it needs something else. Give me a minute. Okay, I found these. Tailored Expressions Bold Branches. I wanted something sort of quite slim. So I was just thinking of something. So I don't know if that's going to be too big. But just give it a go, woman. And we'll see what happens. Because I'm thinking... Well, you know what? You could do words. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Do. Um, right. I think... I, I don't know if I bought these or if these came free as a gift once you spent a certain amount with them. I can't remember because I bought all the... Um, the tailored expression sentiments. I just love those. And I am going to do a video on those. Now... Right, let me just... Now, I could use Catherine's gold and then I could put clear gloss. Let's, let's try that. I am going to just give this a little bit of poudre, a little bit of talcum powder. Oh, that don't affect me thing. Um, because I'm then going to just want the gold over the top so if I was to do that and then should I do gold or silver gold or champagne um yeah let me just I'm going quite light on it because they are brand new those inks and I don't want it to feel like that needs another bit I feel like I missed a few bits there and that's fine Look at that. That's so pretty. Isn't it? That works. I'm really pleased with that. So now, do I want to put that, hang on, oh, on the other bit of pink card? Could do, could do. 
or do I want to put it on me white? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm gonna take take a little bit off. Oh, don't know, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, before I do that. Because that one. No, I do like it on the pink. You know what? I'm gonna end up using all this cardstock. I bought it all so that I could do flowers, etc. Um I'm gonna end up using it all making card bases out of it. Might be cheaper to just buy card bases. Take a little bit off there. And a little bit off there. Let's see what we've got. That little flatten. Doo -doo. Yeah, it needs a tiny bit more off. Sorry, this is where I'm my own worst enemy. Maybe a tiddly bit more. Make sure it's... Okay. Right, let me get the glue. Needed a little bit more glue there. Silly, silly. And then I can do this on a... Yeah, let me just do this on a scrap bit. And again, I think I'll stick a few little sequins on. Because those Jackson ones, I don't even know if they're available still, but those Jackson ones, Donna gave me those. Well, she gave me a few, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure if they're still available. But if they are, I will find for you. Find her. I will find them for you and stick everything in the video description. So I will just, hmm. that looks really nice, I'm really pleased with that, <laughs> oh, I'm happy with that. I'm very boring the way I do my um, sequins, I'm either like diagonals or just a little bit here and a little bit there, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very adventurous. Okay, so there is my error. This was what I was trying to achieve, but on a half. I will still try and work that out. I think it's to do with the positioning of the stamp in the first place. Um, this needs to flatten a little bit, but I'll get them photographed. I'll get them all photographed um, and a nice little group shot. And yeah, I'll stick them on the end. And thank you ever so much for watching. Um, take care. Bye.